Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the morph and how we can use the morph tool to clean up our, our stairs. So, um, this could be done if you use the stair tool, but uh, if you've seen my videos, you know I make stairs out of complex profiles uh, for very clean sections, elevations, inch elevations, 3D models, etc. And then I uh, go back with 2D fills um, and draw a very clean simple um, stare on the plan. I, I know it's separation of 3D and 2D and I usually don't advocate for that, but in this case it works great. However, with the morph tool we can um, take that process I've been working on and move it a step farther into the future um, and both look at using that for the plan and also for um, cleaning some things up in 3D. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to take all these bits and turn them into morphs. Um, I'm now going to select them all and make them into one. Um, so one thing if you look at this, you can see we've got those extra lines. Uh, if I select the morph, hold down um, shift control, you can see down there it says select sub-element. Um, select that line delete it, select the morph, select that line, uh, I must have deleted the wrong line there, okay delete that. So now that stair is looking really clean and it's one thing. So the next thing I want to do is I really want this corner right here to be chamfered. Um, it's something that shows up on the plan and but not in 3D and when I originally modeled this I just said, oh, whatever, it's not that critical to show it in 3D. It's a very minor detail, but point of pride, now we can do it, so I want to do it. So let's jump to plan. Um, and if we select this guy, that's the morph, we can simply use the split tool. Um, I happen to have a guide because you can see the 2D below it. Uh, chop that off. Now, if we go back to 3D, and hopefully my 3D window isn't going to go screwy on me, um, we've now got that, oh, no, oh, interesting, uh, got that chamfered, there's a hole there, for whatever reason, um, of course that wasn't there when I was testing this earlier, but we should be able to uh, just... Add that back in. Um, I'm not going to bother changing the material for that, but um, there's other videos that show how to do that. Okay, so there we have our morph there. So now if we look at it in plan, I'm going to go ahead and hide everything else. Um, so there's our morph. Uh, other layers. Um, so with this morph tool, I'm, I don't want to spend forever doing it, um, we can start seeing how, um, as a 3D object, if those walls, let's, let's do that, um, let's turn on some walls, interior walls, exterior walls. So, you can see uh, this morph we send this morph um, back and plan. I don't know why that's not coming through. There we go. So now that's a morph. And that stair is looking pretty good. Um, I think we could fiddle with where it's cut so that we don't just see that sliver. That's what's kind of weird there is you're seeing just the edge of the stair. But um, again, I'm going to cut this video off now, but really simple way to turn a model that was already good into one morph and make it better by clipping the edge and make it even better by making it read great on plan. So this is kind of the evolution of a previous um, process I had. Now the morph tool makes it even better. Um, and let's not talk about if the stair totally got reworked and how to handle that with the morph tool because I don't have a good answer for that because I haven't had to deal with it. But I can imagine saving a copy of the complex profile or just figuring out a way to handle it with the morph tool because it is pretty easy to rework, but I'm 
I had to record this video about a dozen times because of technical issues with my computer. Nothing to do with Archicad, so I'm going to stop it here and um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.